morning, Frey. Here are the notes on the Tirana I promised you. <sighs> Look, about our deal. Your dad's journals all got burnt up in the guild when we escaped. It's fine. Frey, you brought him back. That's far more important. That is more than I could ever have hoped for. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, where can I find Sila? You should visit the archives in Upper Paul. You'll be able to find out more about her there. The archives. Got it. Alden, sorry to bother you, but I just saw your father wandering off. Uh, forgive me, Frey. I need to go and find him. <laughs> Right. Off to the archives we go. I am kind of worried about Bob, though. He is my ticket out of here. <sighs> Do what you want. But remember, we have a Tunter to defeat. Magical fountain thingies, huh? If they're related to the Tunters, perhaps we should go and take a look. So the Tantas left these stones behind? Yes, although one can only wonder why. You're Frey, aren't you? The one who used their amazing powers to drive back the monsters. I'm Pilo. Can't believe I'm talking to the hero who saved the city. I'm not a hero. Not now, never will be. Did you want something? Um, just wondering if there's anything I can do. I don't know, I could... Hey, I could show you around town. You haven't been here long, right? A guided tour, what an excellent idea. Certainly couldn't hurt to get the lay no, of the land. No, thanks, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, don't say that! Look, I'll be waiting for you, all right? When you're ready, just let me know. Interested in these here books, are you? You've got a good eye. They're treasures of a sort, all rescued from the abandoned Cognitions guilds. Oh, cool. Hey, this one actually looks useful. 
It's about crafting. It certainly seems like it might be worth your while. I'd be happy to give it to you. For a price. I collect old things, see? Find some and I might just be persuadable. All right, I'll see what I can do. Anything take your fancy? Nothing tickling your fancy, eh? Huh. Maybe next time then. Oi, you! Huh? You talking to me? Uh, oopsie, uh, she's a sharp one. What's that you got there, eh? What, this? I just found it lying around the town. Let me swap you something for it. I'll do you a good deal, I promise. Well, show me the goods. Thanks. Got quite a collection going on now. Pleasure doing business with you. Decided to take me up on my offer? Okay, bet. Give me the tour. Great! This is great! All right. We'll start at the square in the lower city. This way. Come on, follow me! The lower city is where all the refugees live. And the square, here, is its heart. Are you a refugee? My parents were. I was born here. So all are born and bred, huh? Anyone my age or younger? Pretty much has to be. You're young Olivia's friend. 
Elif, this is the girl Olivia was talking about. The, the amazing girl? Oh, come on. I wouldn't go that far. Olivia used to look after my Elf a lot, you know. But I never heard her talk about another grown-up like she did you. You must have been very special to her. You think so? And she was special to you too, I imagine. She never knew her parents, you know. They left her at the dump when she was just a baby. What? You're kidding. It's no wonder she found it so hard to trust adults. Felt safe offending for herself. I never knew. Tanta Sila was a mighty warrior. I'd watch yourself out there if I were you. <sighs> Hello, Frey. I was just pondering the fleeting nature of life. One moment. We are laughing together, not a care in the world. The next, we are not a dust on the wind. What good can come of love in such a time? Surely it can only end in tragedy. I hate to say it, but you might be right. Some music, perhaps? Though I fear it will do precious little to lift the mood. Then allow me to perform the horrible terror of Preynost. He really needs some help naming this. Preynost is a harsh and unforgiving land. Not all who make the journey there are fortunate enough to escape a fiery fate. And for those they leave behind, Naught remains but emptiness. You would do well to take care if you plan on venturing there yourself. Not exactly the most illuminating of ditties, was it? That's the trouble with these arty types. Very little in the way of practical advice. What do you mean? Kranos bad, stay away. That was pretty much the message, right? Shall we? Around here is basically a turf. A shame it's barely fit for human habitation. Do the buildings around here just not get fixed? Sometimes. But we're not a priority down here. The upper city comes first. In that, and in everything else. That sucks. Up there is where we get our water. Uh, I've seen that already. Thank you, though. Oh, really? All right, then. Let me show you something else. See letting someone like that roam the streets unsupervised. Hey, mommy, mommy, that's the lady. Shut you, and you don't go near her. You hear? Hey, that's no way to. It's cool. I'm used to it. Jim, I was rather hoping to see that fiery temper of yours in action. Petty, small-minded gossips. Although, I suppose it is pretty frightening. With your power, you could turn the whole town on its head just like that. Yeah. There's something else, all right. Not this shit again. I'm nobody. Get over it already.
Hey, do you like animals? They're all right, I guess. Great. You like this, then? Over here is where we keep all the livestock. We don't get to eat meat very often, but we do all right, I suppose. Hey, you can't create food out of thin air, can you? Never mind. The big open area is the graveyard. Reach or poor, we all end up there in the end. A farm and a cemetery. You don't see that often. Really? It's quite a good arrangement. The animals help keep the grass down. Come on, let's go and take a closer look. They're not shy, that's for sure. Well, we don't get many new faces in town. Hey, why don't you try feeding them? Really? Is that allowed? Of course! Wait here! I'll go and grab some food. Just go up to one of them and hold out your hand. This guy's a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. But that one just loves his mud baths. Like I said, this is the graveyard. There's so many of them. Yeah, well, if they're dead, they're down there. Really wolf that down, huh? Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Our savior's favorite farm has kind of a ring to it. Don't you think? I might put up a sign. Right. I suppose it's time I showed you the upper city. It's back the way we came and up the stairs. Or did you want to look around a bit more first?
Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, the accident at birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's her. Oh, don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? Uh, that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though. This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that! Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. <laughs> You're the criminal who came from the corruption, aren't you? Well, stay out of the upper city. We don't want you tainting us with it. Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look! Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no! Come on, please! I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. <sighs> one look at whatever the hell it is. And I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way.
Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Our mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but, but you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I have got to go! What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we? The next stage of the plan will require the townspeople to be evacuated to a suitable... You? What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of Strength, blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. Okay, I get it. She's one stone-cold, badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia. This is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters.
As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tanta Sila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. You really do have the magic touch. I swear I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey, it's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. The cat that was just here? Oh yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. Children, come back! I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children of Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them... But no. They will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She at least was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, Frey. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. Get you something. What's this? It's a Partha from Janoon. So they're like Athian dice? They're made of animal bones. You roll one, and if it lands on one of the little symbol things, <laughs> you're in for a lucky day. Wow. 
Sounds fun. Oh, that's all it is. No one takes it too seriously. Go on, give it a go. Would you look at that? I want to check to see if Bob's doing okay. But Ugh. Well, if it isn't our favorite council person. How creature! Still you refuse to leave the city? You who brought Tanta Silas wrath upon us? Say it was my fault one more time. I dare you. Uh, uh, Councilman Janesh! Cease your wickedness, demon. Do not approach her! All who do shall surely die. Those who consort with her will perish in agony, just like the child. What the fuck did you just say? Calm down, Frey. Don't let him get to you. You think because you return that feeble-minded old dotard to us that something has changed? Well, think again. You are a blight upon us all, a bringer of doom. The councilman speaks the truth. Leave this place. Be gone. Fuck. You actually managed to exercise some self-control. I'm impressed. Not as impressed as I am. They're not worth your time. You did the right thing. What are they doing? If I had to guess, I'd say they're offering our prayers to the dead. Doesn't look like praying's done much for Athia so far. Well, the habits of a lifetime are hard to break. Who can blame them for seeking a little solace after all they've lost? Yeah, guess you're right. change anything now, but I still wish I could have spoken to you one last time. We allowed you to go free only because you said you would go to Tanta Sila yourself. I would advise you not to go back on your word. Wait, is that Olivia's name? Among others, yes. This is a record of those who perished. Rather a morbid thing to be jotting down, don't you think? Your recklessness resulted in the deaths of many innocents. My recklessness? I wasn't the one who almost got Auden killed. Better to lose one life than countless others. Or do you disagree? And why not? Because it sucks for the person making the sacrifice. But I guess, you know, that's never going to be you, right? Yeah. I'm not interested in your thoughts on this particular subject. Thanks. Look, let me make it simple for you. Sila's going down. And no one is getting sacrificed. Least of all me. I have to say, I'm not hugely convinced by the people in charge around here. 
With that kind of attitude, they'll have sacrificed the whole city before long. Don't get me started. Where is it going? Flighty little creature. Worth chasing it down, perhaps. Stopped. Aw, is this for me? said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. Please, you've got to stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Yo, what's going on here? The Rovian's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's, uh, got himself a mic worked up. And the bloomers too! We tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last fellow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father! Father! It's Odin. Odin? Odin. My dear girl, what are you doing here? I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there if you are here. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. <laughs> be a good man, Sir Robian, and hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, God. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But all I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too.
Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Um, the, the Tirana? Ooh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly-wobbly, wobbly-wibbly. Um, Vush? Huh? Vush? 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 <laughs> yes, Vush! I need a Vush back home, where I came from, after I killed this crazy lady. If I survive. You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady. One or the other. Maybe both, maybe neither. Ugh. Who's to know? Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you vush. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has been. I am clad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audi! Yes, sir. Come. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. But why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Barely knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay. Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper city, right? What's with this weird tree? Interestingly, I don't think it looks like that because of the break. This blue glow? What's that about? The essence of life distilled, if some are to be believed. You! You there! It's about Serobian. I... Actually, it's about everything. The city, too. We... We owe you our thanks. Had you not been here, who knows how many more would have suffered. I... Could have done more. Please. I know you are in pain, but you must not lose heart. The bard at the square, Wallace, do you know him? He may be a frivolous, nonsensical sort of person, but his talent is undeniable. Perhaps a tune might do you good. Truly, his music has the power to soothe the soul. <sighs> Wait, you're not telling me she's... Really? That foppish nonsense? N no! I am nothing of the sort. His music gives me a certain courage, that's all. A sense that it may not be altogether foolish to hope for a brighter tomorrow. Wow, I guess I'll have to listen harder. You plan to face Tantasila, do you not? Those of my line have long been her most faithful protectors. Though such a legacy is no longer one to speak of with pride. Take care. She is not to be trifled with. 
the dutiful sword maiden and the foppish bard, eh? What a pair. Yeah, it's like the plot of a corny romance novel. Might us? are the archives. Catch! Whoa! What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden, tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Ah, 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 ah. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. And that's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me, and I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. <coughs> Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. Uh, what are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. This batty old Harrider needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. No. I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother. So they used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. You're here to read, you say? Oh, I, I'm sorry, it's just no one in Sipal has any interest in books these days.
can't say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Wait, it was the Tauntas who caused the break? What the hell happened to them? I think more than a few of their former subjects came to wonder the same thing. That thing we read, it was written by the first ever Tanta. And it sounds like there might still be more of them to find. Wouldn't hurt to learn more. Guess we could keep an eye out. So, the Tantas had superpowers that they used to keep Atheus safe. And the people loved them for it, worshipped them even. But then something changed. Instead of protecting the people, they started making them suffer. And then the break appeared. An admirably pithy pricey. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would they just go crazy like that? That's enough for now. Think I'm pretty clued up on the Tonta basics. Then I suggest we depart. Let's see. A study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tanta's magic so powerful. I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. I meant to say, that was good, what you did for Robian. Haven't seen Alden that happy in a long time. You two friends? She tells me things. She's been coming here ever since she could read. She told me all about you. So, which is it? Do you want to go home, or do you want to be a hero? Doesn't matter what you want now. Oh yeah? How do you figure? The people have decided to believe in you, so you better not let them down. Now clear off, I've got things to do. Huh? What's this? The sly old devil must have slipped it in there when you weren't looking. Feels a little more, I don't know, cheerful in the lower city. 
When food is short and one's days are numbered, every moment is a gift, I suppose. So, they're happy because they can't afford to be sad. That's fucking depressing. Thank you, Frey! Really, thank you! Oi! Miss! Huh? My friend told me you have a strange glowing object you keep in your pocket. An ob... Oh, you mean this? <sighs> what is that? Uh, it's called a smartphone. Um, uh, how do I put this? It's like a, a thing that lets you talk to people far away, or uh, turn what you see into pictures. Whoa! Does that mean it could turn what you see into pictures of outside support? Yeah, I guess. I've only seen drawings of the outside in books. Could you... could you bring us pictures? I don't see why not. Just don't expect too much, okay? I I'm not a great photographer. I don't know what that is, but thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so maybe not not worth crap. Not really a big camera person, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they'd be delighted with anything you show them. It's not like they have much else to look forward to. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to stop by on occasion, lend them a little cheer. You're right. It won't cost me much, and I bet it would mean a lot to them. Oh. 